Most reporters don't expect or even enjoy public accolades, but they do want to stay alive and do their jobs. Also, two media centers uh, built. Whoa. <laughs> well, that was a rather large explosion. Yeah. It's a unique job, exposing facts that some of the most powerful, the most violent people in the world want nothing more than to be kept quiet. The struggle led to the deaths of 44 reporters around the world in 2017, according to the Committee to Protect Journalists. But the chilling effect goes much further, the report finds. 262 journalists were imprisoned. Unsurprisingly, the political beat is the most dangerous, accounting for 87% of reporters behind bars. And it's not all national news, not huge newspapers. 97% of these journalists work at local outlets. Here are the biggest offenders. Number one, Turkey, a nominal democracy. It was the worst, jailing 73 reporters in just one year as President Erdogan cracked down on dissent, squelched free speech, and targeted the press. China comes in second with 41 lockups. Human Rights Watch explains there's widespread torture and ill treatment of detainees in police-run facilities. Number three is Egypt, where CPJ reports President El Assisi's government passed a draconian anti-terrorism law that furthered its crackdown on the press by, among other things, enabling authorities to put journalists acquitted of terrorism-related charges on a terror watch list that restricts their financial and other rights. You probably noticed here, there is no red dot on the US in the official imprisonment count, but American journalists aren't spared harassment or intimidation. A few examples from the past few years. Inauguration day, January 20th, violent protests filled DC streets. The New York Times writes, Officers in riot gear from the Washington Metropolitan Police moved in and arrested 230 people, including nine journalists. The Bismarck Tribune covered the trial of a videographer for The Guardian newspaper, arrested while she was reporting on the Dakota Access Pipeline protest. A CBS News reporter who can be heard on camera at the time identifying himself as media, holding his press credentials, was slammed to the ground outside an anti-Trump protest in Chicago. And in Virginia, a progressive reporter got handcuffed for tracking Republican gubernatorial candidate Ed Gillespie. The Washington Examiner says he was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest, although the officers in the video claim he was being arrested for swearing. A central creed in most newspapers is hold the powerful accountable. It might not be easy, might not be popular, but it is the job of journalists. And as dangers mount, so does their steel.